Hello everybody, Hellhound Gaming here, Trans Gamer. Today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to download the Shaders mod for 1.8.9 with Optifine without Forge. So the first thing you guys are going to have to do is go down to the description below and click the Optifine link. What it will bring you to is this page here. Once you get here, you just have to go down and see this 1.9 right here. 1.9 HD UH1. Once you see this, click download. It'll take you to an ad fly link, so you just gotta wait five seconds. Now once it is done, you just gotta click skip ad. It will bring you to this page right here. For you, there might be ads all around that say download now, but do not click any of those. I have a ad blocker right now, so I do not see those. Click what looks like what it look click this right here. It should be right in the center. It says download Optifine 1.8.9 and then so on. You just gotta click download and put it into whatever directory you want. After you've completed that step, go to this link right go to the other link in the description for eight for shaders packs. It does say 1.8.8, but they'll still work. Just click download and apply it to the right directory and let it download. Okay. So once everything you once everything's downloaded, just click just click on the op just drag everything to your desktop. You will need WinRAR for this, so I'll apply the link for the in the description for this also. First of all, you just have to right click on the shaders pack WinRAR file and then click extract to 1.8.8 shaders pack. Now you will see a folder on your desktop like this. Now you can just delete this WinRAR file. Now once you have that done, now you just have to double click on your optifine.jar file it will bring up a dot it'll bring up a jar looking installer menu you just have to click install oh by the way you guys might have to start up your minecraft on just normal version and you guys might also have to um, run it on the normal 1.8.9 as you can see here just normal minecraft 1.8.9 you just have to start it up let it launch fully and now you can quit out of the game and now you should be able to open up your little optifine file and click install and it should say optifine is successfully installed now all you have to do is go click your little windows key or something or you can go into your search bar if you have windows 10 you can just click here you, otherwise you can click your windows button on your keyboard you can press your windows button plus r on your keyboard and it will open up this Otherwise, you can just type in here and type in percent app data percent. And now you just open up that folder. Now you should see a dot Minecraft folder. You just open it. Now you can just make this smaller right here and open up your 1.8 shaders pack folder that, um, that you downloaded and extracted beforehand. Now you just open up that file and take the file that is inside and drag it into your Minecraft directory. Now you'll have this in here. It comes with tons and tons of other different shaders packs along with it. So you do not have to download them. After you have that, you can just close out these files. You can open up Minecraft once again. And it should automatically put you to a folder called Optifine, and next to it, 
next to your play button, it should say Minecraft 1.8.9 Optifine HD UH1. Now you just click play, and you wait for it to start up. Now I'll just go into just a random server, I'll just go into here. I already have a shaders pack loaded, but otherwise you guys will not. You guys will have to go in, you have to press escape, go into options, video settings, and now you will see a shaders pack, full, you will see a shaders button. This Optifine has shaders built right into it, so you guys will not have to download them. You guys will not have to download the mod whatsoever. So you will have Optifine and shaders all in one. And when you open up the full, when you click, when you click the shaders button, it will bring you into here. This is the current. These are these are all the shaders that you have inside of here. So I'm just gonna click on this one right here because it actually looks pretty funny and cool so it's just called acid shaders screen space and this is what this one does guys now you can just go back in here and you can keep on switching it up so like this one right here triple pock um low look how good your minecraft looks guys see those trees they're waving. But yeah, guys, you have many shaders to choose from inside of this list, and they're all amazing, guys. But you guys will have to have a really good computer to be able to run this. Like me, my computer is still good, but I, I still lag a bit. But just look how nice everything looks, guys. It's worth it. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe, and I will see you dudes later. Bye-bye, and take care.